okay so if i have to say why did i choose cyber security then most probably uh, it was during my bachelor's days uh, basically um, i was keep on hearing about the recent cyber security attacks in the digital world and so on and so on and later we have a small module called like information theory and coding where i was particularly interested in the encryption technology so that was my beginning point to enter into the cyber security world and later on i did the course like secure communication uh, there we had like much more broader aspect of cyber security and i was to very keen interested on like how it's been working on the cyber security world and why the, the attacks are be happening in the digital world what's the motivation so i was like more interested into that so i thought i should pursue a career out of cyber security and before that i need to gain some knowledge so i decided to pursue my masters in abroad that's in uk so after that i decided to do another professional certification and that's when i came across the cicit certification in linkedin and i thought this would be a great opportunity for me to do to do this certification and to get a gain a greater knowledge now uh, if i say that the, the cct is being relatively newer certification that uh, that's been in the digital world at the moment so when i came across the nearby real like entry level certification in cyber security i guess ccd is much more most uh, like uh, it's much more easier to access and also like uh, it gives a broader aspect of the cyber security including the network security and um, like the network technical controls and administrative controls also the wireless security virtualization so all the different aspects of cyber security has been covered in this uh, like uh, the ccd certification i would say and uh, based upon the what i have learned in masters and what i have learned in cct i would say the cct knowledge was much more greater than what i learned in masters that's true it's in uh, that's true that the masters was like one year course for me but even though the cct was much more uh, relevant to the cyber security i guess yeah whenever a new person enroll into an it industry the one thing that's common to any aspect of individual will be the soc working in soc center like uh, people uh, try to get onto the system but somehow the system blocks their access so that's also the first point of contact for any person like that so for any individual you need to have a greater understanding of how the soc works and like um, what's the responsibilities of the soc and the next thing is the tra- threat intelligence of course we need to be uh, like uh, we need to have a certain level of knowledge about the re- recent cyber security threats and recent cyber security attacks and the threat intelligence speeds are like one of the common medium to gain further knowledge about these uh, cyber security attacks so threat intelligence is one of the g- greater aspect that i learned in the cct as well and then you got the network security and the network security that as, as we know like the first point of in, uh, defense for any network is the network security we need to uh, really monitor how the traffic flows in the network and we need to gather all the relevant sources like uh, how to secure the network so network security is one of the greater aspect and uh, cct has provided me that as well and uh, ethical hacking of course we know that we need to be uh, we need to have a certain level of knowledge like what are the vulnerabilities that uh, that are in our particular system like uh, which ports are open and which services are being run run the system that that's without our knowledge so we need to have a great understanding of these things so ethical hacking is one of the uh major thing that we need to be uh, uh make sure about that so that we can protect these vulnerabilities vulnerable sources and uh, we can protect our system further on from the cyber security attacks so i would say the ethical hacking uh, ethical hacking and vulnerability assessment uh course in the cyber cct was pretty much easier to access of course like uh, we were using i guess uh, it was open wire screen bond for the uh vulnerability scan and uh, it was much more easier to access uh e- easier to use because we need to just give the give in the ip of the target system and we will scan of the vulnerabilities uh, vulnerabilities that's in that particular system so once we get to know that we can uh, easily penetrate that host or the target system so this also acts as a point of offense or point of defense for us if we are trying to structure the source so ethical lagging is one of the most prominent uh, resource for the cyber security world i think the cct labs was structured very much uh, pretty well because it was uh, going on with the the modules that's been organized in the structural way 
starting with the malware analysis and ending with the uh, like uh, ending with the forensic analysis so uh, for any individual entering to cyber security world so each one will have a particular interest like whether they need to go for the soc environment whether they need to go for as a forensic investigation or whether they need to go for a penetration tester or network defense or like a malware analysis so for each these scenario we need to have a certain level of knowledge in these aspects so i guess cct uh, cct is 80 plus labs really covered all these things and uh, each lab like the for the malware analysis i really like the thief rat Tro- trojan lab where we are installing a uh, trojan backdoor program running in the host system and we are uh, we are, we will be able to keep keenly monitor the back keystrokes of the system as well as uh, which folder is been running on which which program is running on which folder uh, it was easier to uh, gain further knowledge about the system without even system knowing that there's a backdoor being installed in the system uh, that's the one thing and the next one are the information security and vulnerabilities lab i i really like that lab further more than any other lab because it was like 8 to 10 information security attacks uh, in the common digital world is being uh, shown in those labs and it was uh, really easy to act, uh, use with the with the opportunities provided by the virtual machines in that lab i would say uh, that lab that lab was one of the most interesting lab that i have faced uh, in the certification like yeah as i said the cct labs covers from the malware analysis to forensic analysis and if i have to point out one certain lab i would say the is the security policy lab because uh, one of the major strength for any organization is to ensure that there are like security policies being implemented in the particular organization so i really liked how to uh, secure the organization by creating policies like password policy audit policy session policy and all these policies being created in a much easier way using uh, windows server manager and using active directory group policy my objectives we are creating certain set of policies for which will affect only particular set of people thus creating the point of vulnerabilities much more less so i would say uh, one of the major point of defense is like uh, uh, reduce the attack surface and i would say uh, reduce the attack surface and this lab was one of the most easiest one to use and uh, provided me greater level of knowledge while entering to cyber security world and also if i have to point another lab i would say the application security lab as well application security lab uh, uh, we had what is it the application blacklisting application whitelisting application sandboxing uh, these are the common scenarios how to reduce the attack surface when we are using a vulnerable applications so uh, the, these labs help me like to uh, further strengthen how to secure securely access an application while uh, while not diminishing our security in the organization so i would say these two labs are one, one of the most uh, interesting labs for me in the overall cct labs ctf challenges uh, if you have to say about ctf challenges i would say uh, for any other for any major cyber security attack or threat we need to be uh, first check about the logs like uh, what has changed and uh, what caused to trigger that particular incident so the logs provide almost all the answers and uh, cct labs really help me to learn how to visualize the logs and uh, how to gain further knowledge about uh, what's happening in the logs and what type of incidents is been triggered like is it a security incident is it an audit incident or like is it another application incident is been triggered in the plug so the ctf plugs uh, really help me to gaining further knowledge about those things and uh, i would say uh, it really helped me during the exam as well as cct exam as well in which uh, one of the prog- one of the problem was i guess uh, like failed audit yeah failed audit how do you uh, know which um, which system uh, you made a failed audit to the particular target system so it was very easy for me like to uh, get that knowledge by using the event viewer i just uh, loop in which ip address was been have been uh, flagged as a payload it and uh, this really helped me to corner which system was the attacker at that scenario so i would say the ctf uh, labs in the cct were very much uh, important because uh, we we have 
it's because like uh, it provides a greater uh, environment to like uh, what's happening behind the scenario and like uh, how to properly analyze the logs to further narrow down the particular incident yeah i would say it's really helped me to gain a knowledge in a technical level because the cct labs was like around 80 plus labs and each labs were of different scenarios and if you have a malware labs you got the malware is like different types of malware like trojan virus worm spyware how to create these lab how to create these viruses and how these viruses are being installed in the system we are getting a broader knowledge about like uh, uh, what happens when these virus has been installed in the system and what happens to the victim like how they have been affected by the particular malware and secondly the information security attacks like we are uh, it really helped me to gain knowledge like uh, how these attacks are happening and why these attacks are uh, relevant to the target relevant to the attacker like uh, what is the uh, what is the vulnerability that's causing these uh, attacks to success so information security and vulnerability lab really focused on that aspect of the uh, cyber security and also you got the uh, security policy uh, lab which focuses on the how to create password policy and how to create audit policy how to create session policy the all the different types of policy like uh, how uh, so that we can ensure there's a proper communication between two systems or like there's a proper communication within the organization as well to do in uh, to limit the attack surface for any attacker and also we got the application security like, like i said and the wireless security and the iot and ot security so all these uh, labs has like different scenarios and how to strengthen a particular organization in these scenarios so i would say the these labs has a greater technical understanding than any other labs i have encountered from any other certifications yeah the ccd has been like a stepping stone for me to the entering to cyber security world and each course uh, each module in the cyber security ccd course was designed for like a uh, getting a f- further knowledge in that particular module like uh, you got a chfi for the uh, last three modules of the ccd and also you got the chfc pen for the la middle two three modules of the ccd and also you got the csoc like uh, and uh, so yeah this uh, more this ccd module has been designed in particular way that you can further gain knowledge in difficult uh, different aspects of cyber security uh, by entering into the particular uh, other relevant courses like you will ch or chfi or C- cssp or cpen whatever course you need to have the the first gain of knowledge has been uh, planted into you through ccd and further on what's i want to pursue more into the system security so i would guess i would be going through cssp or csoc uh, actually i haven't done any recent uh, entry level cyber security programs until now but um, when i decided to pursue the entry level cyber security i was like uh, focusing on like two certifications of course ccd was one and the next one was like comtia security plus so when i compare the different uh, like uh, scenarios and different like uh, different opportunities that these two certificates can provide i would say cct was much more uh, better for me because of the opportunity of like 80 plus labs and the cct exam was more focused on the labs as well. i got like around 7 to 8 labs in the cct exam while in security plus it was more on the pvq questions like performance based questions so of course you need to have a uh, certain level of technical knowledge for attaining the pbq knowledge uh, pbq questions but there was no like uh, virtual machines being used in the lab so it's much more if you have got the technical knowledge you can easily uh, write that exam but the thing is like you need to know how it uh, uh, works in the lab as well so i would say the cct was much more better in that scenario and the cct labs uh, did provide a wider aspect of different cyber security areas and uh, and of course like the cct scholarship also helped me to choose between cct and security plus uh, i would thanks uh, would uh, convey my thanks to ec council for that and also so that's that's it and cct was like a better uh, stepping stone for me for a cyber security world compared to security plus if i would say but still i haven't done any recent entry level certification so i can't really 
say which one is the better but uh, based upon the research i have done i would say cct is one of the best i guess uh, of course it doesn't uh, of course it uh, doesn't have any value at the moment uh, but because of the like it's a recent introduction to the cyber security world but i would say it would have a greater greater level of uh, recognition later on forward because of the uh, brand name ec council as well as, well as the uh, core structure design by the ch initially i thought like cct exam would be kind of difficult because i have no idea like what kind of pbq questions kind might be coming on uh there are like some labs of the ideas where i was like facing bit difficulty using the security onion vm so i thought it might if it comes then it might be a problem for me in during the lab because like the vm was constantly hanging on uh, of course it might happen because of the bandwidth issue so uh, and for, so like at that point of time i was like bit uh, stressed about like whether this lab will be coming out to the VA exam but fortunately for me that lab didn't came and uh, and uh, to my for the shock like the all the labs were for the easy, like more easier to the, the cct exam like uh, and also it um, the it helps me manage the time like the it helps me manage the time very well and also uh, if i would say i have to cover one of the cct pbq questions it would be the uh, one of the caps the plaque uh, question from the a uh, linux machine like yeah uh, where we got the target systems ip address and also we need to find uh, no um, yeah we need to find the target systems ip address and also which system is uh, ssh running so based upon the given information uh, i did a nmap i did a nmap scan to the network and i found out that only particular system was running ssh and uh, later on i try i logged in with the as yes, that using the credentials given in the question and i was able to answer that question i was able to uh, uh, solve that ctf question so i would say that's uh, one of the most interesting question for me and it was further easier than any other uh, lab questions that i have done in the cct labs also yeah it is i think these are the labs that we are constantly using the real life scenario as well so i would say the cct labs exam was uh, really uh keen on providing that real life scenario like favorite feature i would say is the structure of the program uh, like the, like i said it it contains all the different aspects of cyber security and uh, it's the best thing uh, that you need to have a greater knowledge of, in the cyber security world like what are the attacks in the cyber security what are the malwares and what are the defenses that you need to implement to protect against protect you against these attacks and uh, what is the forensic analysis like what is the need for forensic analysis and also like uh, what is the need for business continuity or disaster recovery and all these things are like uh, different parts of cyber security but they are linked properly uh, and they are linked properly in the cct program and they are structured well with the li- with the help of the labs as well so it provides a great structure for a student like me to gain further knowledge in the cyber security world that's the best feature i would say about the cct first is still i am on the job hand so i could i wouldn't say anything that's uh, that's been really happening to me after the doing the certification because uh, just as i said the ccd has been really related to new certi- new certification and there has been many organizations that has recognized this certification at the moment but uh, but in the near future i would really say that uh, based upon the course content and based upon the structure of the ccd program i would say uh, it will be soon recognized in uk as well uh, in uk mostly it was like uh, it was comptia certifications we know over the you know all of the organizations but uh, but in recent scenario i would say ccd will soon gain its uh, recognition and uh, it will really help me to land a successful job in uk